Hey guys, so today I want to show you guys some automation with Tamper Monkey. This is really good if you have a job and you are you find yourself filling out the same form every day or if you are trying to buy a hype sneaker and you are you find yourself clicking the same button on the shopping cart checkout. So what I have here is just a random site and it's just a random form and right now you can see if I wanted to fill out this form I would have to click and click and type something right and that is kind of cumbersome so let me turn on my tamper monkey script and I'll show you the first thing if I refresh right now let's just say for example every time I hit owner I want something within here to, to hit. And every time I hit contractor, it will always be this part of the form because this this happens a lot with the forms that we fill out. So in this example, bam, if I click that, and if I click that, contractor, it will be medium. See that? I'll show you guys again. I don't know why with this form, every single time I click, it will blank out like this. Um, maybe it's specific to this random form that I found online, but for the sake of this demonstration, I'll just move on forward. So that's pretty cool, right? Um, it, it saves you time and in, in thinking to have to not click. So the way I have this set is if I were to jump in to the code here, you go on to Tamper Monkey, and uh, if you follow any other Tamper Monkey tutorials, they'll tell you what you need to put here, which is essentially just to match whatever URL you have. Basically, here is the code. This part of the code is a random variable that I write. I can write pretty much anything. I can write like on-site, but I can write form. Um, I just have to change form here to match it. So that's just what variables are. Anywhere it says on-site, I just need to make it form. And so basically what this variable does is it's saying if with this document, get document by ID, this is a field ID. So the way I find that is I right click onto one of these things, one of these radio buttons and I inspect the element. And then if I come down here and I see label choice dot dot dot, ID equals label 170. So this is the actual ID for the code, the HTML, I think, for this form page. So that's why I have choice 170, and it corresponds to form. And then um, with, with this form variable, we just have this JavaScript function, and it's an event listener on click with the event that if I check the first part of the form, this second part of the form also gets checked. So the second part of the form is just another variable I found, 181, which I think should be this. Yep, 181. So you can see like this corresponds to this, and then second on-site corresponds to that. So that's how I have it. That way I can do, if I click here, boom, it bounces to that. And if I click there, boom, it bounces to that. It saves you a second every day if you're filling out this form every day, which is a lot of time saved. So um, the next part is, what if you always want to, it to be clicked? Like, let's just say you always want owner here to be clicked whenever you hop onto it this page right now if I hop onto this page nothing is clicked right I have to click it but let's just say you always want owner to be clicked so the way that the way to do that is let me clear this out you use this this JavaScript and you put checked equals true so right now I have second on-site checked equals true let me just put form there form dot checked equals true and what this should do is this should make the owner always checked. So let me refresh the page. 
and you see it's automatically checked for you. Um, let's just say I want owner checked and I want medium organizations checked, right? So for medium organizations, I think it's this third radio here. So let me copy this. Third radio. And if I come back here and refresh the page, then it should be owner and medium organizations. And there we have that. So this is a really easy way if you have a lot of forms. And you can basically have tested this if you want a field to be written the same way. If you want a random field automatically typed, let's come back to this here. Let's say I wanted this organization name to say automatically typed. So the code for that would be this. You do the same thing. This is like what we have up here. Get You put a variable and you get the ID. So let me just show you guys. If I right click, inspect element, the ID should be right here, input one underscore three. That's what I have. And then my variable value will be automated line typed. So if I save this and I refresh this page, voila, automated line typed. So hopefully this will save you a ton of time. And if you have any questions, put a comment down and I want to put more of these productivity, efficiency, effectiveness related tools and tips on this channel. So if you leave a like and a comment, that would be super helpful in supporting the channel.